Hello and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey with me, Matthew Caddis, aka Puggy. So, um, Bowser has taken Peach up to the moon to get married to her. So, there's only one place left to go, and that is indeed the moon. So yeah, we have enough power moves to power up our uh, ship, the Odyssey. So indeed, it is time to go to the moon. Yes. And it is now apparently complete. Yes. So, indeed, um, let's go up to the moon. Right, a jump up from the planet Earth we have been on, seemingly. Yes, because not only Peach is there, but um, Cappy's sister, Tiara. And this cutscene, I do like. So, indeed, we are headed for the moon. And, well, this still looks amazing on a system like this. Well, no, I suppose um, video games have gone a long way. But anyway, we are going to the moon. Yes, seriously. I know that um, there have been many visits to the moon in 2D, but I think this is the first time in 3D, so yeah. And we are in Honeyloon Ridge, and you can see in the distance where Bowser is having his wedding to Peach. So, indeed, it is time to crash said wedding. So, in order to do that, well, um, we will have to get over there. Yes, thanks to Cappy. Indeed, so, well, almost! There's not actually a time limit. And I'm going to spend most of this episode exploring the moon, or at least the upper surface of the moon. Because um, on the moon, we can actually get some power moons as well. Yes, seriously. Uh, there are moons on the moon then. So, uh, that being said, um, let's go for a bit of an explore. Likewise, um, with the moon zone from Super Mario Land 2, Mario is affected by gravity, and it is very cool to play with, especially when you're backflipping and whatnot. So yeah, and Mario, Mario sorry, can do a very high spin jump on the flowers here as well. Um, so yeah, um, there are also some, apparently some kingdom coins, even though the moon is off there. And if you do a long jump from that platform there, you will get this power moon shining above the moon. Yes, um, long jumps really send you far in, on top of the moon, so yeah. And I really love doing them, so long as I can do the jumps. Sometimes I do misjudge them, though. There are some jumps that are very um, annoying to do. If we go down here and through this pipe, we will get a, a 2D section with uh, some annoying fuzzies as well. Seriously, I don't like these guys. They were annoying back in the uh, Forgotten Isle. Why do I want to deal with them here? I don't know, but I will have to. So let's jump over here. And at the very end, beyond this ring of fuzzies, is where the Power Moon is. So yeah, a fairly easy one. Um, you know you're platforming. So yeah, and so now I want... There is a platform up to the right there. I don't think Mario can get there with it is where he is now, but yeah, never mind, never mind. Anyway, that being said, let's um, see what else is there. We can also see Bowser's airship. Well, that's nothing new. Um, we've already been down there through the um, thing. Also, the music that plays on top of the um, moon. Believe it or not, this is actually a remix of the Power Star music from Super Mario Galaxy. Seriously, whenever you, um, a star pretty much appears in Super Mario Galaxy before you pick it up, there's some sort of whimsical weird music. This is basically that song in... maybe in full? I don't know. But it's certainly somewhat of a remix of it, anyway. If, 
holy heavy mix, really. Now, so now I want to do a long jump over here. Um, so, um, yeah, there's also some coin rings there. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm confusing myself as well. And another scarecrow. Does that mean we have a, another challenge? Well, yes, we do, except this one requires us to use the long jump. So, yeah, and maybe multiple long jumps as well, so... I have to keep going on this one, because the platforms will disappear very, very quickly indeed. Thankfully, with the gravity, it is easier to jump off the last platform. This was one of the regular kingdoms that I had to do this. I think I'd struggle, to be honest. And, uh, yeah... I think I would struggle. So, um, let's see. Uh, the thing I like to do, I think you shouldn't, um, it's supposed to happen, is to keep moving here. Unfortunately, I am not good at keeping Mario um, straight, if that's uh, any analogy I can go with. That's the only thing I can think of, because he, he bumps his leg against the platform and pretty much falls down. Seriously, and that happens more often than not on the um, in the um, this kingdom. So yeah. So let's see. Let's jump down here, and indeed, um, we can see some more of those strange rocks. Is this where they're from? Because we've been seeing those rocks throughout the game, and we haven't been able to do anything about them. We haven't been able to ground pound them or anything. So yeah, um, so let's see, jump, jump, and then get the, oh don't bother getting the moon, fine, what oh, the actual hell game, but yeah, we've been seeing those rocks throughout the game, we've been unable to ground pound them, um, jump on them, fling cappy on them, something is weird about those rocks, and we will actually find out something about them, towards the end of this game, and in the post game, actually. So yes, I, I know I've been going over that uh, the thing, but yes, there is something about these mysterious rocks. And I will go over them in the post game, and I, yes, I am going to do get as many power moons as I can. I'm not going to get all 900, because um, there are just some power moons I just cannot get. Seriously, and some of them pertaining to a certain... Um, extra thing that is in the thing. I've, I've not done it yet, but it is an extra um, recurring thing in the game. So let's get the moon. There we go. So um, there's the first chimer challenge. So I'm going to backflip, and then uh, Cappy will return to me, hopefully. Yep. And then go over here, where we can see a giant octopus. Yeah, we already beat the Moonless Glancer. Um, what makes you so special, mate? Seriously. Maybe you're on mix with uh, King Caliente or um, Prince... I, I don't even know what the prince was called in Super Mario Galaxy 2. I haven't played that game in ages. I do want to, actually. But, um, yeah. What do you know? We can actually see the, the 2D section off to the left there, which is pretty cool. Again... That was one of my favorite things about Super Mario Odyssey. The fact that they put 2D sections in the 3D game. Again, um, we had 2.5D games in the new Super Mario Brothers series. Not one of my favorite things, to be honest, because of how that works. But, um, yeah. So, let's try long jumping. Is there anything here? Well, just a bunch of uh, Kingdom Coins there. Nothing much else, really. No uh, power moons there, but there is a ledge off to the right there. So let's see. Long jump and get the, um, the coins. Okay, no. Mario, even with the zero gravity here on the moon, he will not be able to make the jump. No. Ow! Seriously, man. And there's our first checkpoint the, over the Ringing Bells Plateau. I love that name! Ringing Bells Plateau! <laughs> I love it. Anyway, that being said, we actually get some dash uh, um, flowers here. So that is the way we are going to get over that ledge, I think. So, uh, But with that said, there's also an area off to the right there. Hmm. Which shall I do first? Well, you 
know how I am with exploring, so backflip! And indeed, we can see another of those mysterious rocks, which we cannot destroy at the moment. Yes, we did, and, um, round pound, and down it goes. So, now we have a, another taking note session, I guess. And this one involves us having to use the long jump, so long jump over the left side, and then long jump... Or just hit your head! Yay! I don't think I hit that checkpoint! Otherwise, I think I'd be dead. Well, worse. I'd have to go all the way back to the beginning. So, yeah. So, uh, indeed, um, let us go over here and... Don't do that. Yeah, the... The flowers are for the long ledge, not this one. Seriously. So, is there anything else over here besides the offspring of King Caliente? Well, yes, the year uh, of taking notes. So, indeed, let's do that. So, position Mario, long jump, and then land on there, and then quickly turn the camera around, and then go over the other side, and I think we got it. Yes, we do! And, the, and I like that the power moons are actually yellow here on the moon, because that's how it's <laughs> that's how the moon is often depicted in various media as being yellow. I know it looks more like a blue hue nowadays, but when I was a kid, I always thought it was yellow. Um, so um, that's a nice little touch, actually. So over there on over towards where we actually want to go, which is the thing. Um, is the entrance to the caves. However, I want to do a long jump over here to reach this treasure chest to get this power moon! So yes, um, <laughs> well that's fairly self-explanatory. And to get back we need to use these um, flowers here. Yeah, that ledge is far too high without them, so let's see. Oh, it might not be. Maybe that might be good enough. And let's go. That's it. We've done it. We've done it. So, um, Let's use the thing. Long jump over the other side and land. Yeah, that works. And we need the quiet wall. Yeah. Um, try me. I'm going to go over here to the right, actually. Because there's another sphinx over here. As well as another um, gigantic moon um, octopus. Yeah, we've already got those guys. So, um, let's get those, and jump, uh, maybe not, there we go, and then, um, what's over here, well, some more creators, of course, and uh, if you think this is all that the moon has to offer, oh no, there'll be a lot more in the post game. So, let's go over to the Sphinx, and let's see what we can ask him. Uh, no, definitely not. That's the easy one. Yeah, he won't give you anything. Anyway, on the next episode, we are going to actually um, head towards the, um, the uh, wedding. So until then, I will see you later. Goodbye!